another episode of our ghost reel. Um, today, as you can see, I am in a wood. Now this wood is called Bagley Wood and it's in Oxfordshire and supposedly there's a lot of history to this wood. I'm in a place called Kennington which is just outside of Oxford and it's between, between Oxford and the River Thames. The woodland is extremely old and was mentioned in 955, 955 by King Edred, I think that's how you say it, Edred, um, and he granted certain lands including Bagley Wood um, to the abbot of um, Abingdon Abbey. Oh, saying that's kind of hard. <laughs> Abbots of Abaddon Abbey. <laughs> that's, yeah. <laughs> um, so he granted this land to the abbots in, and then the place basically became pretty lawless in around the 13th century. The, a highwayman who was supposed to haunt here and he's on a white horse. And there were actually, um, highwaymen here and it did become pretty lawless <clears throat> back in the day and people were killed here um, you know even in the abbey times people were killed here and they were bought from the abbey uh, if they'd done something wrong or you know they'd just been a bit naughty um, and they were bought here and they were basically murdered also men were assaulted here as well. so the prior priory of the abbey or prior of the abbey sorry um in 1327 was dragged into these woods by what are they called prior nappers um i think that's what they're called prior nappers and he was threatened and then basically told to do their bidding otherwise they would kill him here so also as well the saint john's college in Oxford then bought the land here um, back I think it was in the 1600s um, or oh no I think it was before that I need to check that one um, but bought the land and it's still owned by St John's College today but you do have permission to roam here and um, they just say to you to stick to the paths and not to deviate from them um, but, but you used to have to get permission to walk here so it's nice actually I'm, I'm glad they've said you can just walk here now because <laughs> there's a really lovely wood I'm not gonna lie even if it does have this really dark history it is just a beautiful wood and it does remind me so much actually of Maidenhead Thicket um, where I've been before uh, because it's just it's got that kind of feel to it <laughs> I can't really explain it I kind of wish you guys were here um, but it's kind of yeah reminisc reminiscent of that so as well there used to be um, there used to be conflicts about entering here there I think it was Thomas Pratt and he was shooting uh, rabbits in this wood and he didn't have the permission to do so and so St John's College actually prosecuted him and this was back in like in the 19th century um, they Thomas Pratt then led basically a rebellion if you like against the college and basically said hey we want to we want to use this too so he basically got all the villagers together and created a bit of a, a a rebellion against the college and it all kind of came to head in December in 1838 when they came to collect their timber all of the all of the village the villagers including Thomas Pratt would then stand and bar them entry and got his picks um, not pigs <laughs> like pickaxe and um, they'd all grab their forks and stuff a bit like you know in Beauty and the Beast when they all rampage the castle it's basically a bit like that <laughs> but without a beast and without Gaston. College then actually held Pratt responsible for this and he actually did end up going to prison um, I don't know how long for he went I don't know how long he went to prison for but he did
people have reported here um, and in fact there was actually in 2015 a couple who were walking here uh, at dusk so around the same time that I am actually here now because the sun is going down it doesn't they were just walking when all of a sudden they saw this shadow figure and he was like really tall I say he but I don't actually know if it was a he uh, it didn't mention a he <laughs> um, but it was really really tall the shadow figure and it sort of startled them and they screamed and ran I think <laughs> supposed to be highwaymen here as I said to you and then the other thing as well is they're supposed to be just like phantom phantom shadows and a bit like that one that was seen in 2015 where people have been walking and just seen things sort of out of the corner of their eyes so very much like maidenhead thicket really um and so i am looking around <laughs> just to see if i can kind of spot any shadows um but this is there's literally no one here it's literally just me <laughs> for my emf detector and I've just turned that on. So I'm just going to see if I get any random spikes at all. Um, I have to say, this place is also massive. Uh, and I kind of already lost my way. <laughs> Hopefully I can get back to the car. <clears throat> and if there's any spirits here, I invite you to come forward for me. I've got a device in front of me where you can show me that you're here i'm calling out to any spirits that may be here come towards my voice please let me know that you're here i think there's all sorts of animals here so i can hear like all sorts of rustling and stuff is there a highway man here on his horse? I mean, I've got very cold. I don't know where you can see, but I've got goosebumps all of a sudden. But I am in the shade, so, and the sun is going down, so, and I am also wearing <clears throat> a short sleeve. As you can see, there we go. There we are. So, I could probably explain why I'm getting cold. <laughs> So I probably, I'm going to debunk that as not paranormal. It's quite freaky down there. Actually, it does actually look like there's a shadow. I mean, maybe, maybe people mistake these shadows as just, I don't know, it's just, um, when the sun is going down, you know, it's easy to, or when the sun is in a certain position it's easy to if you're just walking in and out of the corner of your eye you could easily mistake one of the shadows on the trees or something as something sinister still on 0 0.00 it's not gone off at all i just keep hearing all sorts noises i don't know whether or not my camera is picking it up but it's just all sorts of noises i'm just going to start a recording session to see if i can get anything so bagley woods oxfordshire something like an animal just in here because I can hear it that's really weird 
my camera's starting acting a bit weird. It wouldn't let me record, even though I was pressing record. Like, yeah, okay, sometimes it acts up. Um, so I'm not going to really say that as paranormal either. But I was just trying so hard to press record and it just legit wasn't doing anything. Um, and I didn't realise as well it turned off. So I'm speaking and I don't know whether or not <laughs> you guys heard what I was saying. Um, and just typical now, I literally can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> Is there any spirits here? Now is your chance to talk to me. Tell me how you died. What year is it for you? Oh yeah, there's, I can see some cars and lorries just through those trees. I want to go back this way then. I just, I don't want to get too close to the motorway. I don't know whether to go this way. I'll go this way. Hmm. I'll go this way. Still on 0 0.00. It's literally been on that the whole time. None of them are paranormal, they're all just noises of animals. So again, I can kind of see why people may think this place is haunted, because if you're coming here at dusk and just as it's getting dark, there are literally so many noises around you of like rustles and all sorts going on. Um, and my camera probably isn't picking that up but there's just so much noise so you could I don't know be into sort of thinking well maybe that's something paranormal when in actual fact it's nothing paranormal <laughs> it's just animals just found a gravestone or something that looks very much like a gravestone It's all in Latin. I can't read Latin. In memoriam of Julianne. I can't even say that. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. That definitely says scholar. Um. Founder, Oxen must be something to do with Oxfordshire. Um, public, Germany. Delecti. This Publis in Britain, Britannium. Okay, I think that that's a memorial stone. Yeah, so that's one of the people who worked at the college. He got buried here by the looks of it. Ah, oh, there's one of these huts over there. the right word. Um, 
but I know that they're just animals. I've heard that this place was lawless. Is that true? Were people hurt here? Were you hurt here? Play this back. I've heard that this place was lawless. Is that true? Were people hurt here? Were you hurt here? There's some noises in there. I think that was a... <clears throat> okay. So... I think my eyes probably would playing tricks on me but through the trees I could have sworn I saw a black shadow unfortunately I don't think my camera will have picked it up because my camera sucks I really need to get a new camera unless oh hang on I think it's part of the tree. Right, okay. I think it's part of the tree that makes it look as if, if you're walking, it makes it look like there's something there. I think that is exactly what it is. So, let me see if I, you can see what I'm talking about. That black blob there is actually part of the tree. But if you walk, I know it's sort of showing you. If you walk, it looks like it's moving. See? And it looks like a proper shadow. Just there. And it looks like maybe a person. Oh no, that actually is a person. My bad. I still debunked because it actually is a real person. I go first. There it is. <laughs> well, there we go. You can see why people do really easily get confused here because <laughs> that did look really suspicious <laughs> through the trees but it actually turned out to just be a real person walking through the trees in black at dusk I mean wearing black in a wood that's supposedly haunted with shadow figures to me see why people may actually think that that is a shadow figure if you know through the trees they're seeing this black thing moving um and you can't quite make out what it is and then you realize oh wait maybe that is a person but the only reason i realized that was a person is that i was staring at it and i was trying to show you guys it as well so if i hadn't done that you know and i was just sort of walking and i wasn't paying as much attention then easily I could have thought that was an actual ghost. One of those go off for me. There must be one here. If you've got anything to say, now is the time to say it. Because I have to go home soon. Zero zero. So I move places. That one going off is because I put it down. So that's me, and that's the reason why that's going off. 
um, just wait for that to go up. Okay. So, if there are any spirits here, please come forward for me. I've got some little things in front of me there, which you can use. And they will let me know that you are here. And you can make them go off. Are there any monks here? Well, nothing appears to be happening here, so I'm thinking I'm going to give this, like, call this quits now, um, and go back to the car, I think, because, yeah nothing is really happening i'm back in my car um i can definitely see why people think uh the place is haunted because as the sun goes down it's really like i think shadows appear and it is very much um one of those places where you can easily think something else and it does kind of have a little bit of an atmosphere to it as the sun is going down. Um, just because I didn't get anything today doesn't really mean that it's not haunted. I just could have come on a night where the ghosts just weren't interested <laughs> in talking to me. Um, and so, yeah, I thought I would leave because I wasn't really getting anything. But, in a way, I'm kind of glad I didn't get anything because I was starting to think maybe my cat balls were malfunctioning because they've been going off so much in like different places at the moment um, that I thought maybe, oh, there's something wrong with them and I thought, oh, maybe I've got to go and take them back or something um, but clearly, clearly they did not go off today are working perfectly fine so it does make the fact that the, when they do go off it does make it more compelling the fact that they didn't go off today so in a way it's kind of like bittersweet I'm bitter about the fact that I didn't get anything when I this is supposed to be a haunted wood so I was all excited but at the same time it's sweet because I know that my cat balls are malfunctioning now so whenever they do go off that is a legitimate reason they're going off so anyway um i really hope that you did enjoy this video even though really not much happened um and i'm hoping to go to another really haunted location very very soon i mean i may come back here again um possibly i don't know but maybe <laughs> i don't know um and see if i can get anything um but yeah we'll we'll see we'll see i mean it's 10 o'clock at night now so i've got to drive home <laughs> um so uh yeah but yeah we'll, we'll see what happens anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe and i shall see you guys next time bye